What's up guys, Supergeek here and today I'm going to tell you how you can download and install Android 12 L on your Windows machine. You can either install it on a virtual machine like I'm going to do in this video right now or you can permanently install it on your Windows laptop or desktop so it can boot directly to Android 12 L. And all this become possible by the awesome people behind Bliss OS. John West who is the creator of Bliss OS recently tweeted that android 12 builds are ready to be uploading and you can easily download the iso file for your pc and install it on your x86 platforms and today i'm going to tell you how you can download the android 12 L build and then install it on a virtual machine i'm also going to tell you how you can create a bootable drive for the android 12 l so you can install it permanently on your desktop or laptop Okay, first things first, all you have to do is download and install VirtualBox on your Windows machine and then download the Bliss OS 15 build. Uh, the only problem is that when you go to blissos.org, the Android 12 builds are not available to everyone. These are only available to some advanced users. So Bliss OS team has logged the Android 12 builds behind a task and all you have to do is create a logcat.txt in the root of your external storage so you have to uh, like do coding and stuff in this small window once you do that correctly the builds will be unlocked and you can download it easily but i know not everyone is a coder not me either so i have link for the builds right here uh, and you can download it from the description as well Alright, so first thing what you have to do is install VirtualBox on your Windows machine. Once you do that, open it, just click on new and give it a name. Then select Linux from here, scroll to the very bottom inversion, click other Linux 64 bit, click on next. Okay, select at least 2 gigs of RAM so the virtual machine can run smoothly. Uh, just don't go beyond 50% of your available RAM. Uh, mine is 8 gigs, so I'm not going beyond 4 gigs. Just click on next. Click on create a virtual hard drive now. Click on BDI. It's next. Dynamically allocated. Click next. And select at least 16 gigs. Then click create. Okay, once you're on this page, just right click on this machine. Click on settings and in the system go to acceleration select kvm from here uh, go to display and uh, select maximum amount of video memory then select vbox svga from here click on ok and run this machine once you run the machine for the first time it will ask you for a startup disk just click the icon right here Click on add from here, select the uh, ISO file and select it, choose and click on start. And once you're here, uh, you can select from a bunch of options. You can directly install it or you can just run it without installation. I'm going to do that. just wait for it to boot up and there you go there's the boot animation and in a couple of seconds it will boot up all right so we're on the setup screen just click on start I'm going to set it up offline, continue, next, more, more, so as you can see my machine is running quite slow because my PC is not that fast. Uh, if you have a desktop, uh, I'm running it on a laptop. That's why it's running a bit slow, a bit laggy, but if you have a gaming computer or something like that, a powerful computer, it will run pretty smooth. So 
so it's not that bad to be very honest once it boots up everything is set up uh, it runs pretty smooth all right so we are in the desktop and uh, let's open some apps let me, first let me show you that it's running android 12 l so as you can see it's a really good solution for old pc as you can have uh, multi window support it's it's really awesome that you can also maximize that see you can have multi windows here let's go to about so as you can see it's running android 12 here you go okay the easter egg is not working all right so as you can see it's running android 12 l and it got all the features and uh, to show you that it's running android 12 l not android 12 here these are the pop-ups that are available in android 12 l not in android 12 so the internet is not working for some reason it's not showing my wi-fi i don't know why but we have a solution for that we just go to network settings and go to braced adapter and i think this will be fine but i have to reboot my machine for that i'm not going to do that and uh, so there you go android 12 l running on a virtual machine the best part is that you can also install it on permanently on your windows desktop or laptop if you have some lying around that you don't use you can install this os on that and give it a fresh new life okay as promised now i'm going to tell you how you can create a bootable drive for android 12 l all right to create a bootable drive all you have to do is download rufus and in rufus download the portable version once you download that open it and wait let me just connect a flash drive to my laptop right as you can see it is showing here once uh, you select the flash drive just click on select select the iso file and once you do that just leave all the settings as it is and click on start i'm not going to do that because i have some data on my flash drive i'm not going to wipe that off just close it and there you go android 12 l on your windows machine that's a pretty cool deal so it's still in its early stages so it have a lot of glitches lags and all that sort of stuff uh, that you can expect from a beta software so make sure do not install it for your daily driving uh, unless it gets stable because i know eventually it's going to be stable there they are currently working on it so then you can install it permanently as your daily driver on your laptop or desktop but do not do it right now just try it on a virtual machine and if you guys have any query regarding the installation process or anything related to this video you can shoot them in the comment section below and i'll make sure to get back to it asap so that's it for today guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one